floor and then standing. So for this one, we're going to have our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're going to go ahead and take our hands. We're going to touch down to the floor and then we're going to stand all the way up. So we're really trying to open up those hips. Hips are going back and then coming up. So you're tracking those knees. Those knees track with the toes. So if the toes are slightly pointed out, the knees will be. Now I want you to sink into those hips. And so those knees aren't going past the toes. They might go right up to the toes, maybe a little past it, but you're not doing this where we're dumping into those hips. We're dumping back. So our glutes are doing the work to sit low and then standing up. Now, if you're thinking, wow, I do not have that flexibility, then what it's going to look like, you might just go to here and coming up. I've had many people that I've worked with where we just start here and after doing this after a while, we'll slowly start to open our hips. So it might take a few months before you're able to go all the way to the floor and stand up, but just try to work on whatever range of motion you have to start with. Make sure those hips are going back and slowly over time, they will start to open.